Yeah, that's, that's a pretty good look for me. I got to say, yesterday's rain was teasing us. I mean, we bought ponchos and then it immediately stopped raining. Yeah, I mean, I would say we all had our rain gear on and um, <laughs> we just, there was just sweat. There was no rain to be found the whole game. Yeah, and they, there was a lightning strike right before Vanderbilt botched the Ooh. kick. So we were all worried that they were going to the, delay the game, but I think we barely got it in. So. From the Boyd Sports Desk, KOMU8 Sports. For Tigers fans, everything seems just a little bit brighter this morning. After some very dark moments with the weather and against Vanderbilt, Mizzou's college football playoff hopes live on, and their kicker is 100% in overtime. The Tigers sell out at home for the first day of SEC play. Mizzou down 7-0 in the first. Everyone say it with me. Touchdown, Luther. Brady Cook finds Luther Burden for the 20-yard touchdown to tie the game up early. But Mizzou's struggling to put points on the board. Tied at 13 in the second half, there goes Nate Noel, finding some daylight and showing off the burst for 64 yards. Another big game for Noel, rushing for nearly 200 yards tonight. That running back room with the best one-two punch in the game, Marcus Carroll, bulldozing his way in for six to give the Tigers the lead in the third. Mizzou letting Vandy stick around into overtime. Down 27-20, Brady Cook throws an absolute dime to a wide open Luther Burden for his second touchdown of the night to tie it up. And in the second overtime, redshirt freshman Blake Craig splits the uprights to take the lead one last time, and the Commodores can't match. So the Tigers go into the bye week 4-0. After the game, head coach Eli Drinkwitz identified a point of emphasis going forward. we got to take a hard look at what we're doing in the red area and figure out why we can't sustain drives and why we're not able to convert third downs. So that's on me as the head football coach, and, and, and I've got to – I got to do a better job finding answers there. Nate Noel was the backup generator that kept the home team running today through the storm. The Tigers transfer from Appalachian State was electric on offense, outrunning and dropping defenders for Mizzou today. Noel recorded his second straight 100-yard performance with 199 on 23 carries. One thing about speed like that, you can't keep it hidden. Expect to see plenty more bursts into the open field from him this season. After the game, Noel gave praise to the guys up front for opening the running lanes. It was it was a little bit challenging. Uh, I mean, a little bit more challenging, but just I'm just grateful for the old line and the receivers just blocking downfield, making it look like last week again, opening up the holes. It's Missouri versus Missouri in local college football. Lincoln taking on William Jewell. On Lincoln's very first possession, Isaiah th Tate throws a beauty downfield to Armani Turner for a 42-yard gain but they couldn't get it into the end zone. On the same drive, Lincoln's Mo Alwaley nails a 36-yard field goal to give the Blue Tigers an early 3-0 lead. It was all William Jewell from here. In the second quarter, William Jewell's Tucker Griffin throws a strike to Lane Cavana for a 19-yard touchdown to put the Cardinals up 14-3. William Jewell beats Lincoln 48-20. The Chiefs play the Falcons at 7-20 tonight. I'll feel much better kicking up my feet to watch that game with Mizzou at 4-0. I'm Tyson Ellison. That's all for sports. Back to you. Okay, thanks, Tyson. Coming up, a look at your top stories from the week. But first, you're taking a live look over downtown Columbia. KMU 8 News Today will be right back.